They literally have one job, and that is to mill peppercorns. But so many times, pepper mills fall short. Luckily for us, Adam's here, and he's going to tell us which pepper mill we should include in our kitchen. You know, Bridget, they do fall short. They, they should be easy to load. Yes. They should be easy to adjust. Yes. They should grind on target. And so many of them don't. That's right. It's a puzzlement. It's a travesty. It's a travesty. We got this lineup of seven different pepper mills because our old favorite one had been slightly redesigned okay. and we found some new ones on the market. We paid a price range of $25 to $50 for these. They were all the kind that twist from the top because we know from previous tests that that's what we prefer. Instead of the hand crank. We don't want the old hand crank. No. Those times are gone. In terms of job number one, which is getting pepper into them, which you have to do before you grind anything. Sure. Some of them load from the bottom, like this one. Mm -hmm. Some of them load from the top, this whole range here. You just unscrew the top and you pour the pepper in. Right. This one was an exercise in frustration. It loads from the side. You have to keep it from rolling around. That's right. You have to steady it. This had a fairly small one inch opening. Very frustrating to fill this one. Some of these you adjust on the top by unscrewing that thing a little more or a little less. Testers didn't love that because when they were going for a coarse grind, some of them overdid it and took the top right off of the pepper mill. And this was too loose. Too loose. I see. Also, you don't know exactly what you're getting. It's not super precise. One of them adjusted from the bottom, this one with the side entry port. This one, at least you don't unscrew the top, but it's still hard to know exactly what you're getting. It's imprecise. What testers really loved was something like this that has a dial at the bottom. It has six different settings. You lock it into a specific grind size. You know exactly what you're going to get. Lots of precision there. Most of these did a good job in terms of outputting what we wanted them to output. Certainly the ones where we knew exactly what we were going to get were the best. This was the winner, Bridget. This is that redesigned version of our old winner. It's the Colin Mason Derwent. It was about $50. Testers liked it because it was easy to fill. It's clear, so you can see how many so peppercorns smart. are in there. Really smart. And mostly, it was really easy to adjust with this dial. The output matched the setting exactly. Testers knew exactly what they were going to get with this one. Well, there you go. Pepper mill perfection. And if you want to pick up the winner, it's the Colin Mason Derwent Pepper Mill, and it runs about 50 bucks. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>